about the report. Sorry. Absorption is a clinical term that refers to bad absorption or digestion across the GI tract. Uh, of a single nutrient component like lactose and tolerance when we have deficiency of classical rays uh, due to lactose or lactase deficiency or multiple nutrients such as uh, that's causing celiac or tropical cipro that cause multivitamin or uh, another fat uh, nutrient as well fat uh, absorption. Uh, malabsorption can occur if someone does not have enough digestive enzymes like uh, disaccharides, pancreatic enzyme deficiencies and thus and the substance. Intact normal flow of all movement, the small or the large intestine is faster than expected as uh, decreased normal or uh, transient time. This will lead to malabsorption in this case. Malabsorption syndrome, as we said, it results from disturbance of at least one of the following normal digestive mechanisms we mentioned intraluminous digestion, digestion of proteins, carbohydrate fats, amylase by the palatid, nectarot, stereo, badin, the top over to badin. Bancreatic uh, enzymes in the small intestine, emulsion by the action of bile, terminal digestion, hydrolysis by carbohydrate disaccharide and digestion by bacteria and toxins as well as the push folders from the distance. Plants epithelial transport absorption which nutrients and through the electrolytes are transported across the epithelium of the small intestine for delivery of intestinal respiratory. So next. The most common symptom is the area of the state area, your water, nocturnal and over the day, where it was the area because of course of the fat. Uh, when it was despite increased oral intake, because of despite increased caloric intake, they have a weight loss. Still, they are light in color and hard to flush greasy because of the fat containing in that. Hardly smelling. Fatigue because they didn't have calories, they didn't have ATPs, they would be fatigued easily. Okay. Shortness of breath between anemia because we lose malabsorption of iron, folate, B12, whatever it was. Next. Muscle wasting, calorie wasting, the same protein, no absorption. Nausea, night blindness, when the vitamins are severely affected. Growth retardation, calcium, vitamin D, and all of this stuff. And we can have uh, enough ATVs uh, to, to go and to, to find. Muscle and abdominal grinding pain from decreased calcium, vitamin D, and magnesium. Mm -hmm. Symptoms. Purple or BTK due to vitamin K deficiency. So now we can see the depends on the nutrients that's malabsorbed. You can see how it can present. I think it can present with BTK purple, as you see. Dermatitis, rash, hyperkeratosis, lymphocytes due to vitamin E, uh, vitamin A deficiency, zinc, and essential fatty acid and niacin as well. All of them they can cause these uh, symptoms. Uh, next. Osteomalacia or osteoporosis due to severe vitamin deficiency. What's the difference, by the way, between porosis and osteoporosis and osteomalacia? Quickly, quickly, I don't know. Osteomalacia is Osteomalacia is mineralization problem. Dilip in the mineralization. Osteoporosis is dilip in the density, bone density. Okay, amenorrhea, infertility, deficient immune system, and bad wound healing. Next, anemia itself can be iron, B12, folate. It depends on the nutrients that's not absorbed. Uh, Tilitis, glucitis, angular somatitis, iron deficiency, number one, vitamin B12 can cause a vitamin E and folate. Next, uh, peripheral lymphocytes often due to vitamin B12 uh, and thiamine, which is B1. As a team, you have potential due to fluid electrolytes. Uh, there will be, due to the area, there will be a renal impairment. The area, as we said, many to absorption and secretion of decreased water and many to So the area, we have secretory the area and osmotic the area. Osmotic the area, for example, when you give a patient lact lactulose. Hmm? Yes, carbohydrate, lactulose, lactose. This will cause as much as water will be taken drained and uh, taken from the, uh, uh, the bowel. So because of the osmosis, because of high molecules of the So 
So water instead of absorbing the chlorine, it will be released. So we will have a loose soil and eventually the area. This is called osmotic area. Secretory area is something that you, when there is an infection, sometimes the serious flu will, and then the, the, the cells will secrete more fluid, secrete more secretions. This will cause the area as well. So secretory is more infectious, ischemic radiation, you know, drugs and necessary drugs. Uh, we have more uh, malabsorbed, this is often osmotic because of the uh, large molecules within the stool itself. Doctor, Doctor, the secretory will be even with fasting, right? Yes, even with the fasting. So that's good, that's a good point. Even if you're fasting, population, for example, gastroenteritis, and about which percentage area is still. But, but osmotic is often to what you eat and what is there, what's there. Okay, if he's eating and the uh, it's not absorbing and not digesting blood molecules, disaccharides, and polysaccharides still within the stool. This will cause osmotic area as well. Like as you give patient lactose or laxative, why is lactose mm -hmm. complex disaccharide, complex polysaccharide that will cause drainage of the flow and cause uh, losing of the area. Loose water in the area due to fatty acid minus carbohydrate, bulky area due to fat malabsorption, the area could be bloody due to this cooperation of factors. As well, uh, can you treat him and be well? And, uh, okay, hit him and be well, and then there was a problem from the gut. Next, ecomosis, due to vitamin K malabsorption and hypothrombinemia, because of the risk of this malabsorption, vitamin K will be malabsorbed, and eventually you can have population plant with this. Kidney and paracetamol cause malabsorption of calcium, magnesium, and their vitamin D as well. Absorption muscle pain, vitamin D, calcium, magnesium, is as well as muscle stabilizer, we know, decrease absorption of this will as we said before, osteomalacia and osteoporosis. Next. Daily tendency, we mentioned that edema, because protein losing enteropathies, we are losing proteins, they are not digested and not absorbed, so we can have, and eventually they will start losing proteins from the cell. That's called protein losing therapies. Uh, amnuria and loss of libido because we need proteins in order and lipids in order for the six hormones, estrogen, testosterone, to be uh, produced and uh, to be uh, released as well. Next. <coughs> Treatment of malabsorption varies accordingly towards the, uh, to the, uh, to the, to the causative agent. Uh, missing vital nutrients are affecting almost all the systems of the body, heart, brain, muscles, blood, kidney, skin, children and elderly, the two extremes of age, the children and the elderly, they are not affected. Next. Diagnostic methods, blood tests to measure the levels that nutrients such as vitamin E, B12, iron, calcium, phosphorus, and iron protein, Stool analysis for fat, we have a qualitative thing called Sudan test. They look for uh, the, the number of the fatty in uh, acid, fatty chain acid in the stool. Most of the Sudan test indicates that the excretion of the fat is more than 15 grams per day. Normally should be less than 10, less than 10, maybe 5. Quantitative, uh, similar to two of a fecal collection of more than 20 grams per day while in diet or 100 grams per day fat. So they give him a, a diet that contains 100 grams of fat per day, and if he's excreting more 20, and the stool, this is an absorption. This is an absorption 72 hours. The cellulose absorption, this is a fine carbon sugar, which is labeled, that does not require digestion to be absorbed. So usually often absorbed easily, diffused it, not only for enzymes to digest. It used to assist the intestine and cause an integrity. 25 milligrams of such oral dose, after five hours, we measure the urine sugar more than five gram, uh, or two hours serum sugar more than 20% of the oral dose uh, should be normal. Should be. If not, if less than that, this is malabsorption. Then because the integrity is not there, okay? Instructed. Decrease absorption, this means decrease excretion of the urine, which means we have intestinal disease. Should it test, interesting test. Next slide. Should it test, that's quite important test. We don't tend to do it nowadays, but it's nice to know about, if you know about that. When, uh, about how to differentiate between uh, what's the cause of a vitamin D12 deficiency. So first, it's stages or parts, whatever you can, you can name it. Part one or stage one, oral label B12, 
So I'll be told the level with the mean gravity will be five, five ten, should be uh, the given or a level. And I and the muscular and level to be told at the same time to saturate the tissues. So the the oral is level, the I and the muscular is not level. Okay, memorize that. Then after that we do 24 hour urine collection and we measure for the label. We look for the labeled and uh, the label B12. More than five percent normally. More than five percent because we have already saturated the tissues with the iron. Of more than one, more than five percent of the oral label is seen in the urine, which means has been absorbed and excreted because of the oversaturation of the tissue. Understood? So understood until now. Okay. Less than 5%, which means it's malabsorption. Malabsorption, okay. So the nerve is a malabsorption, should support the B12. Is it vernicious anemia or that? Because, as you remember, vernicious anemia, autoimmune disease, autoimmune disease is affecting the parietal cell. The parietal cell is quite important to release the acids and the intrinsic factors. The intrinsic factors is quite important for absorption of B12. And then, R2 or stage 2. Repeat with oral intrinsic factor. You give them oral B12 plus intrinsic factor. If now the B12 level is normal in the serum, and the B12 normal in the serum or the urine, sorry, in the urine, that's a vanishes anemia. Because intrinsic factors has hyperethnoshi, has improved or has resolved the issue. If it's still abnormal, which means it's not the uh, it's the absorption, the size of the absorption. So much can much can test. Any questions until now? I don't know how she and this is done. Victoria, it's still low on malabsorption? It's still low, this is malabsorption. If it's improved, if it normalized I mean, with intrinsic factors, it's malicious anemia. You give extra because you give extraneous intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor. IF is intrinsic factor, okay? Which I'm not to be confused. But at least there's a three or four, this means that three now. Stage three, four. If you are looking for bacterial overgrowth, you treat for two weeks. Then you repeat, call it stage three. Would you repeat, then you repeat the oral with intrinsic factors, or without. If the credit, you know, if you prove that this is not a pernicious anemia, or without, you treat. If you think about bacterial, so now it's malabsorption. Okay. So next time, stage three, you give with, uh, you you give, you give after two weeks of treatment with antibiotic, you give oral. Uh, B12. And you see, you have the level in 24 hours. If it's normal now, often this is a bacterial overgrowth. Okay? It's abnormal. The last thing, stage 4 or part 4, we give them creative enzymes for 3 days. Then we repeat that this or the oral B12. If it normalizes, this is the creative insufficiency. Amara has said, fine, in part 2 4. So at least if you understand the part 2 1, part 1 or stage 1 2 3. Okay. Any questions? Oh. After part two, you think about the period of growth. You suffer from the year. And you give trial of two weeks, you repeat the test. If it improves, probably it must go down. Does not improve, rather than that, this is not the period of growth. Now, no, there is a period you have, you should target it now. Okay? Then you think about the period of insufficiency, you go to our stage four. So it's a thing, a stepwise manner. Stage one or part one, yes, that's why I would name it stage I, stages. Stage one, two, three, four. Okay? Yes. Diagnosed, another diagnostic methods, hydrogen breath test for type 1 breath malabsorption. We give 50 grams of actylose given orally, and the hydrogen is uh, measured every four hours. And then lactose, lactose. Uh, Less than 10 particles per million, baseline is normal, more than 10, this is considered bacterial overgrowth. Uh, and uh, it's fermented within the intestine and the hydrogen will be, will be, will appear, uh, the bar will increase the hydrogen level. Small bowel biopsy to differentiate between them, to know if it's celiac sprue, celiac, or uh, tropical sprue, or the prones, or what's going on. So the next step it will be a biopsy after hydrogen test. okay? Next. <coughs> so this is a small intestine biopsy may be diagnostic, CX2, the most common, villus atrophy, loss of the, the, the atrophy, the loss of the line because of the destruction, because of the gliding and gluten sensitivity, yes, higher lymphocytic infiltration by the lemon propria and the crypt, hyperplating, intestinal lymphocytic, they dilated lymphatics in the lemon propria 
which impairs the absorption, especially the fat, because the fats, the chylomicrons, they are in, uh, absorbed within the lymphatics. Okay? Absorbed in the lymphatics. The standard lymphoma, if you have infiltration, so anything that affects the absorption, lymphatic lymphoma, Crohn's disease, especially in the granulomas, maybe this is the side. Yeah, yeah, who knows? After such diagnostic test, you go for the biopsy definitely to know what's going on. Okay, is it any gastritis? Blunting to the villi is infinitely and infiltrating the mucosa, which means the histopathology is the crucial, the gold standard for this diagnosis of skin. Aganaglobinemia, no plasma cells. So aganaglobinemia is associated with that. Next. Diagnostic method, bacterial overgrowth, direct culture. Now, sometimes you put an NG tube, nasogeogenic tube, not NG, NG. Okay, and we take an aspirin from that and send it if there is, and we see if there is a cancer. Not that much, to be honest, specific. Uh, Bilas at breath test, look for any bile salts in the breath, labeled. We give them something labeled, labeled uh, uh, molecule that goes to excreted in the bile, and it will be excreted in the intestine to know that it's malabsorption. If you detect this labeled, radio labeled, or in the breath, that means that you have malabsorption. So one of these ways. Okay, we did it by biopsy seeing patchy damage and the positive infiltration and positive cancer growth of the bacteria, high bacteria growth. Small bowel x ray, celiac disease, pulling or fluctuation in the barrier because the surface, you said that the small intestine, uh, you lost the villi and the architectural thing of the small intestine then will be like, uh, I wouldn't say that it might divide something specific for points, but something, something like that when you lose the surface. So, Simultaneous and the services equalized now. What will this inform on the doses of sphygial gastroenteritis quick folds will give you in the small body x rays bearing or this? A CT MRI for power and pancreatic regions of the other causes. Next, please. Hakeana uh, dysfunction and the small body pancreas of the world bladder. Secondary to prolong the use of antibiotics such as neomycin clone and the cement boards with common derivatives. Must cause cholesterol C diff as well as cholesterol deficit that we might cause malabsorption as well. Next. Cystic fibrosis, uh, interestingly, uh, causes because cystic fibrosis because thick mucus secretions uh, might affect pancreas and those who have uh, delta 5 or 8 mutation, which is the most common mutation, 85% of the patient we have it, and homozygous is always associated with pancreatic insufficiency. If not, it will be the big secretion that will impair the absorption rather than the pancreatic insufficiency. Because some mutation is than is than ten percent they have some mutation is than I would say one percent, less than one percent, sorry. Less than one percent heterozygous, they do not have pancreatic insufficiency, they have eighty because they have symptoms like infertility and so uh, extra pulmonary uh, uh, symptoms. Next. Chronic pancreatitis, in that, in that they lost the exocrine function, basically. So they didn't have enzymes now to absorb. And they, more, more than around 90% of the exocrine function is fibrotic, sclerotic. So no enzymes, enzymes basically, to, 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 to either to digest or if you don't have uh, carbine carbonate that uh, helps to lower the pH. That's why chronic pancreatitis as well. Might, uh, uh, might make a risk for uh, ulcers because you lose the bicarb buffering system now. Thanks. Celiac disease, gluten hypersensitivity, as we know, to the glidins. So it's the main antibodies against the glidins if you want to just Often we do anti tissue gland tumorase, mass glucosaminase, IgA, and IgD if the patient is IgA deficient. For those with IgA deficiency, Yes, because IgA deficiency, per se, increases the fold for uh, the risk for developing C that around 10 folds. Those with IgA deficiency are more 10 folds likely to develop C that disease. Remember that. Okay, excellent. So, atrophy, the less atrophy, threats, because there will be lymphocytic infiltrates, inflammation as whenever he eats something that contains a glyman. By the way, what are the things that contain a glyman? Next. Yeah. We'll talk a couple of slides. Tropical spoo, malabsorption in those who live in tropical areas, 
they don't find uh, sometimes they don't find the positive agents which believes it's infection, so sometimes you don't believe in that. But it's in front of the same rules with the interpreter. Elephantarian is your life, and Dr. Elias, that's true. Uh, Crohn's disease, severe inflammation of the small bowel will cause a high decrease in nutrient absorption. Crohn's, because it affects any area, batch of infected, batch of involvement, skip region from any areas from the mouth down to the anus, can affect the small intestine, can affect the terminal area, the areas that activity absorb. Okay? So, Crohn's disease should be considered. BDA atresia, why is that? Because we need wine for absorption of fat. So that's quite important. That means it means blockade, abnormal, at least it's blockade, to be honest, that's the most. Abnormal, uh, abnormal blockade of the, of the canal, of the biliary duct. Yes, uh, maybe congenital, maybe due to other diseases. So blocked by from the liver wire, case concentration of the it's and the death, the battle of the biliary circulation. Next. Eight meter of lipoproteinemia, who knows how is the, this is a genetic disease, a hereditary disease. What's the method of transfer? What's the method of uh, how we got this disease? Uh, method or method of inheritance? Method of inheritance. This is genetic disease. I actually put this as a genetic disease. What's the method of inheritance at all? Anyone knows? Nakir is the first one. Doctorat is the first one. What do you think? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. What's the mode of inheritance for A, B, to a live operating in? يعني مش مفهوم سؤال مش مفهوم مو في النهاية تنسى مش مفهوم يعني بس واش مكيف؟ سومرسيس 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 and eventually the lipid soluble vitamins, the homoish, lipid soluble vitamins, A, B, D, K, okay? Now, what about this is the maniacal absorption in the infected process, infected similar to the tropical cibroba skin infection removal, that uh, parasite infiltration of the bill line uh, causing decreased absorption and malabsorption. Lymphatic disorder, what is the lymphatic disorder? Because lymphatics are quite important for lipid absorption, okay? I don't want to go off my lips. I don't know, but I can't. Sometimes I'm so much more important. Obviously, there's a congestion for the world, and eventually this congestion will... I don't know. This congestion will prevent absorption, better absorption, other nutrients that are even not related to lymphatics. So, yeah, it's a lot of research that can... They not a heart failure sometimes. When they have congested vessels, stomach vessels, they eventually they do not respond to the oral tablets because they should stop them. The edema that you see in the lips is found there in the stomach. The veins, gold, veins, they are gold, and the absorption are, uh, are affected. So we have to give them IV, value meant for that, but they have still absorption please. And the edema within the wall is decreased. By edema, whatever the cause, lymphatic venous will cause malabsorption. Okay? Other causes, parasites, we mentioned D12, malabsorption, juvenile, delicious anemia, atrophic gastritis, all this will, uh, I don't know, if you have any questions about that, just ask. I assume that you understand what I'm talking about, about the juvenile, delicious anemia, and atrophic gastritis. Autoimmune autoimmune, autoimmune, autoimmune diseases, okay? Just, if you have any questions, you can ask now, you can ask for an end of the That causes prevalence, lack of lactase and disaccharides. Enzymes that they will uh, digest and absorb. Next, please. Celiac disease, let's go for the celiac disease. That's quite important, you should know. And tropical stroke, gluten sensitive neuropathy, rheumatoid disorder with small bowel, and occurring genetically, genetically susceptible. It's associated, associated with the HLA, DQ8, and DQ2, as well as central. Good one. Oh.
شو هالكنز هذا المكيف كان الصبح هيك اه مشي على ببلش برد بعدين البعض Next. 
That's how things happen through tender times. They come across uh, the water cells, so they go through the cell, they emanate it, then uh, the antigen presenting cell, ABC cell, will present it to the T cell, CD4 plus, for adaptive immunity, that the BQ2 become a chili system. We know that the chili, we have a chili 1 and chili 2, uh, and a chili and a chili and a chili for the human leukocyte antigen presenting the lot of receptors. This Cell antigen presenting cell, when they have this type of receptor, they will present the gliden as an, a strange, a strange molecule of strange, strange uh, substance, and eventually uh, an antibodies and uh, inflammatory response or through the T-delta 1 or the high one inflammation, they call it, adaptive immunity will be there. Whenever they eat anything that contains gluten, next time, because the memory cells now, antibody will be released. And inflammation. Inflammation, more recruitment of cells, and then you will go into a vicious cycle. Mm. Any questions? Next. <coughs> gluten contains food that's broken down a specific part of the lichen, so it cannot be emanated by the enzyme to the tissue blood to its immunity. Plants gluteninase. That's the one that we look for in the serology, the NTT, TTG, IgA, or IgG. IgG, if it's negative, if the uh, patient is IgA deficient, we use send for IgG. And if he is as well IgA deficient, and you know to, you need to know further or to compare, you send for anticholinin specifically. You see the antibody is for anticholinin, which could be not available, and anti-angiomycia antibodies, okay? So then, they are able to put the antigen binding methods with it to actually the few positive antigen presented to the CD4 T helper 1 to the cells and then uh, type 1 inflammation they call it sometimes uh, response cascade will be there prokinetics, interleukomen, interferon, gamma, hyanet, alpha further recruitment of inflammatory cells in each of the lymphocytes comes with type CD4 T helper 1 will present it to the uh, T helper 1 result then the hyperomonium cells will send messages to the B cells and order to uh, manufacture or to release antibodies for the virus quickly. Any questions? One now, yes. Inflammation, we call it villus atrophy because the cells will attack the cells. Villus atrophy, this is to prevent further absorption of gluten and could have a damage machination to prevent further absorption of gluten. To prevent, yes. Correct hyperplasia, lymphocyte infiltrate, and intraepithelial uh, lymphocytosis. Next, fusion lymphocyte. You can, you can see how the healthy intestine and normal villi is there, and what's ours, the fibrous atrophy and the celiac disease. Okay, next. Celiac disease is a small bowel disorder characterized by mucosal inflammation. Hakena, next, please. Suggestive symptoms. Chronic or recurrent diarrhea or constipation, sometimes they might present with constipation, malabsorption, excessive or cross distension of general pain. Yes. Extra intestinal symptoms, that's quite important, that's an important slide. Uh, celiac disease have an extra intestinal symptoms, about the, the, the iron deficiency B12 and this thing, they got some lashes because of the resistant elevation in the serum amino transferases and the resistant rash called dermatitis herpetiformis one that is an eczema, an eczema that's not, yeah, and the extensors, and that's whenever you have done, that's not treated. That is steroids, because steroids are not that much improvement, might, might, mild improvement might happen, but once you stop the steroids, it relapse again. Like this is not the cause of the eczema we know. Like this is related to celiac disease. Celiac disease, by the way, most of the clinics in the medicine, you can see celiac disease or you can diagnose celiac disease. You see it in rheumatology. It comes with juvenile rheumatology. You look for that, it finds rheumatology. You see it in hematology. Unexplained spilimulary liver, thyroid transplant, might be just celiac, endocrine, celiac, thyroid, diabetes, hyper, malabsorption in the GI. Wherever you go in the medicine, you can find the drugs. Wherever you go, you'll find the patient. Yes, that's good because there's an extent, a lot of interesting cells. So celiac is found in a lot of clinics, dermatology, dermatitis, cellular performance, quite important. Okay, headache, headaches, all of these in tablet form, semi mesh for the neurology, more can conclude this, I could have one on celiac. Next. 
Okay. The Matthias service is promised, as we said, the diagnosis clinic with biopsy proof in the Matthias should be established and the established by serology without small bowel biopsy. And in the end of biopsy with serology, maybe the time the biopsy is small bowel. Again, we die whenever we have malabsorption in the we have to go for small biopsy. This is the rare cases that you can just depend on the extensive skin plus serology to diagnose here. Next, please. Diagnostic approach individuals with low celiac disease probability, the Mahakana absence of suggestive sign, a malabsorption of the area of the absence of family history, <coughs> Chinese, Japanese, and Sub Saharan African descent, they have the lowest incidence of celiac disease. Next. Hmm? More common than celiac disease. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. More common, they have more common. I'm sorry. Just had a malicious time. They are more common, that's your right. They are more common, they have celiac more common than us. Whenever we have a low risk celiac disease, should do a serological test first. Uh, undergo, sorry, with both, both positive serological test, should undergo upper endoscopy plus biopsy. Mm -hmm. The serum tissue trans is IgA and endometrial IgA as well have similar sensitivity, but still more common and more available is the TTG. Okay? Negative result for both this at low risk of celiac has a negative predictive value. Therefore, saying you can rule out celiac with such a negative serology. Right? You can, with a, given that this patient is a low celiac probability, if the patient is moderate to high celiac probability, or they are negative, no. You should go for IG, uh, IgGs or you go to uh, just endoscopy and biopsy and see what's going on. Okay? The specificities of AMA, IgA, and TG are quite high. So we can rely on ruling out a low celiac probability in this serology, but we cannot rule out a moderate and high. Next. Endoscopic intestinal biopsies in mechanic lift, uh, hypertrophy, avellus atrophy, the thing of the tips, the protrusion, they will lose this uh, structure. Uh, and as you can see in that, in the non atrophic, in the, in the A is non atrophic, mild atrophy, and severe atrophy. Flattened, has a same subway, and the network of protrusions that normally produce who will go and see endoscopy, sharp and the small intestine, there's tiny protrusions, I know it, we lose it in the celiac disease, okay? So we, 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 we don't often see that in the celiac. Next. Hysterical, the Mahakim has to do this, start from the normal. Partial atrophy, lymphocyte infiltration, clipped hyperplasia, then eventually you might, they might have none, but we will not see any. That's why you will see that you can have a lymphoid lymphoma, lymphoid yeah. lymphoma as well, because a lot of infiltration of lymphocytes are chronic. Chronic infiltrate of lymphocytes eventually might lead to lymphomatous or lymphocytes or lymphoid lymphoma at the site of the infiltration. Next. See ya. This is the appearance. ممكن مش واضحة بسبب ال بس الفاسكولاريتي بيزيد في الستيج الأخير الرابع يعني من التهد. Individuals with high celiac probability or those who have clinical presentations high suggestive and respiratory or chronic weight loss and the risk factors and the family history في genetic susceptibility or those who are high first degree second degree relative with confirmed celiac any autoimmune type one autoimmune type dies by minor immunosuppressors. Down and turn up will, uh, next is, will IgE deficiency increase the risk of tenfold in Hakana? Surgical evaluation IgE is a single preferred test in addition to total IgE. In this condition to know whether he is deficient or not. If he is deficient, we swap to an IgG. You know, the deaminated gliding peptide, we test for the gliding now. We send the IgG alternatively, or we can send the IgG for anti TTG IgG or and, uh, the, uh, the BBG, BGB. And patients with high probability. So can rely on the IgG given that the total IgA is, is, uh, is low. Next. Serum <coughs> assays, auto antibodies in Mahakana, anti endometrial antibodies, IgA, anti tissue glands, monomase. Antibodies targeting the gliding itself, and gliden antibody, uh, anti BGG. Antibodies against synthetic deaminated gliding, BGB, IgA, and IgG as well. Next. The diagnostic performance of celiac disease are influenced by views, variation among testing methods, and the severity of the celiac, dietary factors, patient's age, total IgA, endometrial, and TTG may be false negative in the children in the first two years. 
and an IgA deficiency as well. Next. Differential diagnosis, the celiac, irritable bone, small bacteria level of hmm? uh, tropical flu. Tropical flu, yes, my chronic pancreatitis, semi-nashe, and those things, they are they are quite uh, should be considered in the differential. That's why small bowel biopsy and surgical evaluation is quite important. So remember, remember any any malabsorption the message serology plus biopsy should be your prime given your history. What's going on next? Investigation biopsy mainly the duodenum is the gold standard. Inflammations in Hakana and signs through antibodies mixed Hakana and bone. Hematology biochemistry machine should to see is looking for the side effects or the uh, uh, nutrients involved, CPC, platelets, hemoglobin, anemia, and anemia, uh, vitamin D, electrolytes, calcium, uh, all of these stuff next. Uh, no medical treatment until now, unfortunately, a lot of the gluten that we get. Yes, we try a lot of things. Vitamins, uh, good, if he is nice, deficient, you get vitamins and uh, you, you, you stop the you stop gluten, uh, gluten free, gluten -free diet. Uh, we can use symptoms, we can use steroid to reduce the symptoms while healing sometimes. Steroid might help because this will uh, suppress the lymphocyte and will make repression of the lymphocytes quicker. So we might heal quicker for a slight effect with that, but we don't, we don't turn to the right people. Uh, next, please. Food. Free food containing food with gluten is prohibited. Next. Gluten salts, wheat, wheat, ray, barley, fine clay, fine to kale. This is a dora. No, I was saying, no, 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 Artificial uh, coffee creamers, beers, pollen cubes, both stocks, candies, certain types of ground spices, wine cheese, and chewing gum. This is a jar slide. You can see where we can find sometimes gluten copper and. Hmm? So, this, this is. Okay, next. Okay. As I said, some of them they have vitamin and nutrient deficiency that does not cause them to feel ill, such as anemia or deficiency anemia. Whatever you find that you give supplements as well. Next. At the supplements, we have to make sure they are gluten free because of the right kind of gluten, especially the can chewing supplements, usually gluten. Right? The gelatin, hyaluronic, and butter. Whenever you go outside, you have to make sure yeah, to look at the gelatin if it's the wine and the wine. Okay, next. Topical stool, I'll look at the camera next. We, yeah, we more the topical stool, the quotidian. Yes, next. Uh, next. Malabsorption syndrome, acute chronic, and comes absent specific cause. It can thought to be infectious, meteorology, contribution environmental, uh, affect small intestine, the same, presentation of malabsorption, other malabsorption, next. Uh, condition can be called like this, would we'll have travelers, diarrhea, E. coli, enterobacter, persilence, more frequently seen. They turn to a slight injury, invasion, colonization, mucosal lining, villus atrophy, and a blood absorption eventually. Next. The exact positive agent of tropical soil is unknown. It's more in Caribbean, South Indian, Southeast Asian, as you can know, affecting both native and visitors for those who live for. Uh, more than three months, I would say, for example. Or, oh, illness is rare, visitors less than a month, while the disease is endemic, although the theology is unclear. Chronic infection toxogenic is maybe the most acceptable theory in the moment. Metagenesis, acute infection, enterocyte damage, here are both his ability to absorb. This is the classic looking thing. Diarrhea, uh, bail, crazy, abdominal cramp, weight loss, anorexia, fatigue. Megaloblastic anemia, B12 is the most affected here, the dog. Living edema, hypoproteinemia, hypoalbuminemia, pillar, B12 metabolic and iron, night blindness, and bitter spot vitamin A deficiency. Next. 
Angular is thematized within the iron and Fourier as well. Muscle weakness, hypokalemia, homogenesemia, and hypostatine <coughs> as well. Spasm, firstborn pain, numbness, hypercalcemia, vitamin D, and hypomagnesemia. Both is to be taken care because it's quite important for relation time to protection. So that, how do you combine it? Differential, the same. See, let you have the assets mixed. History asks the patient about any recent visit to or travel to tropical areas that you have the suspicion, is clear and then here. Biopsies showed subtotal villa, subtotal increase, villa script, enlarged epithelium, enlarged nuclei, vitamin D proliferate deficiency. To be honest, to be the diagnosis, such thing depends mainly on the history. Because in biopsy, they will be the same as the other man of water. So it will be the history and the nearly, nearly it will be the history. Next. Subtilous atrophy, unlike probably the cilia, or the total atrophy is there in the line. Thanks. The same you do the workup as you are doing for cilia. It's the same. Megaloblastic anemia associated with this toilet and vitamin B12 as many as 60%. And if a patient comes to you with a megaloblastic anemia and you send their blood and you are waiting for the blood, so the blood might take one week to come back. And you need to treat them. What would you treat first? Correct or the B12 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 or the Macro? Macro. 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 Uh, B12? Fully. 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 That's good. What would you treat first? Treat. Okay, number. You give for it first, then B12. If you treat just B12, the habit of patients with neurological subneurological symptoms, they might develop subneurological symptoms because of the and the command, the deficiency will cause a lot of neurological deficiencies, a lot of neurological sequences, then it can be hypertrophy, then it's cause score because so it's important to arrange the stones of the toilet first, don't treat these off. Remember that, not in so Due to neurological sign, yeah? Yes. I know. The B12 will mask, treatment of B12 will mask the anemia or has an anemia. It's not like has an neurological. And the free for the process. So you replenish for it first, like a lot of water light, and what else? Replenish for it first, then you do it all. You do not have to do it all. Okay. Next. So, take a look at this slide, so it's okay. So, and you have to roll out your glasses uh, to a top of light, three more than specimen of the stools so to be able to examine, uh, and then it's called microscope next. Chemistry. Then on the basic panel, as we know, electrolytes, they give us those absorption tests to know what's going on, is there integrity of small intestines uh, <coughs> there, into the or not. Treatment for it, 5 mg orally, high dose, Mushar Pamit microgram, this is a high dose. Correlate with this correct microblasting resistant, resultant from for it, and help the regeneration of the intestinal mucosa, and then you need to be okay? Remember that. The B12, uh, elf microgram, elf milligram, IM, different courses, 10, 10, 10 MOs, either once they don't to score by then every separate day, the colors cause. Some schools, yeah, every other day, it's fine. Oh, there you have, whatever you have done, it's fine. And the issue that comes. Tetracycline, because they believe that this is an infectious uh, process, and often the treatment of still look as close as well. One to two months, it depends, then uh, uh, three times a day or up to six months. So, to be 250 only, the treatment is not requested from you in the exam, Mr. Champion. So, yes, you have to know that. For, yeah, you have a lot of the young people who are in the hospital, but you have a lot of the young people who are in the facility. One can be substituted to do to cycle in 100 milligrams twice a day. Again, uh, if there is no response or okay response, you might extend it to one year. Topical school treatment is nasty, uh, isn't it? Why? Sorry, next. Well, without, uh, without treatment, topical school runs in a relapsing course. For PG, until severe malnutrition happens. 
Maybe the inside antibiotic could play a role between the drug that's quite important. Sometimes we need a longer duration of treatment of symptoms that exist over one year both, so and we think that he will improve further, so you can extend it up to 12 months. Next. <coughs> Next. Chronic bronchitis. Next. Chronic inflammation in the pancreas, or due to recurrent acute pancreatitis, will cause chronic inflammation in the pancreas, uh, uh, with the resultant damage in the gland, characterized by fibrosis, calcification, and the inflammation. Some, so, so chronic pancreatitis binding with the CT of the abdomen sometimes is uh, calcification next. Structural changes. Yes, so it's true. Uh, alcohol, tobacco, hypercalcemia, chronic uh, kidney disease that causes cystic fibrosis, arterial pancreatitis, seminal autoimmune can cause pancreatitis, and recurrent acute pancreatitis, alcoholic obstructive pancreatitis due to oral stones as well. All of these causes or obstruction due to adenocarcinomas, stenosis, and all of that. All might cause recurrent pancreatitis and eventually later with chronic pancreatitis next day. Uh, the physiology of alcohol and other risk factors. Uh, the first centenary episode of acute pancreatitis, inflammatory cells, T helper. It always starts with a type 1 inflammation, T helper 1 cells. Uh, inflammatory cytokines, bone inflammation, recruitment of other cells, then the things will, the cycle will continue if the patient continues in what he's doing, or we do not see what's going on from the first. Next. Uh, clinical features, malabsorption, between pseudo cyst formation that's well known, pancreatic carcinoma, are um, patients with chronic pancreatic are at an increased risk of developing pancreatic carcinoma. Secondary diabetes mellitus often misses the late presentation because it's usually the exocrine function, then very lately with recombinant and endocrine function will be affected, destructive, bloating, increased weight, better diabetes. Next. Yes, diagnosis, ultrasound, CT, atrophic calcification, ductal, abdominal carcinomas, magnetic resonance, MRCD, they call it. You can, you can see how bad the uh, pancreas is affected. Next, let me skip the previous slide. Uh, previous slide. Uh, define pancreatic function. Either we do the pancreatic juice after secreting injection, it's invasive. They have to do them just to be on the put. Uh, we go through the bullet later throughout and make it a bit and they measure that. It's an invasive, we don't tend to do it. Uh, fecal, the most important is the fecal pancreatic, the pancreatic elastase, to be honest, is the most applicable about the X-ray coming in condition. MRCD is good for that next. Uh, dilated pancreatic duct, dilated common by duct, called bladder as well. Yes, there is stone, there's stone. Uh, there is no cure for chronic pancreatitis, but that means the management of pain. Alcohol cessation, pancreatic enzyme replacement, if that shows that the pancreatic insufficient. Many weak acids, acetaminophen, defragan, or paracetamol. Or also the medication, kions. Kions is the name, uh, the general name for the pancreatic environment. That enzymes are the uh, other enzymes. Apart from the elastase, elastase is not the same. On the, uh, the clinic, so you can test for the even the patient in the clinic. And why I'm saying that? Because in the CF, for example, I've done my last year in CF and purposes. So we use sometimes to do to, to, to measure the convenience and the adherence of the patient in the clinic. And the clinic is a bit weight or not, but then the fetal elastase, because this, the clinic, the pancreatic enzyme, does not contain the fetal elastase. Mm. Okay, just like. Management complications, surgical or endoscopic, pseudocyst, epithelial structures, or the upper GI cells is good involved with you in this case as often. Next. Lymphatic disorders, next intestinal lymphoma, I will go through this quickly due to celiac flow and other immune deficiency symptoms. Next, please. You can read them in, in, in your own. Next. Biogenesis, basically infiltration of the lymphocytes of the intestine, eventually chronic lymphocyte infiltration. Informers, globally informers, you can read them your own. Next. Uh, treatment because it's an informer, right? Often it's uh, chemotherapy. Okay, next. Surgery may be the next option. What does disease address? It's an inflammatory, non positive bacterium, tobinine, mobilized, affecting multi 
the system as well. I think she's close to me next. Look at my hand. P cells, P cells as well as the mental cell infiltration, uh, affecting the service of the small intestine and eventually an absorption. The element of nutrient absorption is GI graduate or sulfite is here, the area of the genome of the cervical attacks is so that I mean here of animal disease that is interesting. Next. Uh, Open disease is left and treated, this is the mortality is 100% after one year. We do not receive correct diagnosis and treatment. The prognosis is usually good up to 35 percent or may relapse. Next. Treatment is a long term, lasting one to two years. The hyaluma is not a treatment. Uh, symptom relief generally comes quicker often within the first week or two. Most people with no pain or nervous system involvement, they recover completely after the course of antibiotic. The drug of choice, two to four weeks of Sifter, on an IV or penicillin. Our oral suffering effects is all. Next. And 